last time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm hoping you remember that when we mixed radicals with fractions, we decided that from now on, the great Oz has spoken. you're only allowed to have radicals in the numerator of an answer. <laughs> Remember, it was for purposes of comparison, so everybody's writing their answer in the same fashion. So let it be written. So let it be done. So no radicals, basically, another way of saying that is no radicals are allowed in the denominators. Now, when we had a radical in the denominator with a plus or a minus sign, we use these animals called conjugates. Remember that the conjugate was kind of an odd couple, was kind of the twin with different signs. Now, as long as we multiply the top and bottom by the same thing, what did we have? We were multiplying by 1. And that's legal in fractions. You can multiply by 1 any time you want. So the trick was when we had a, a radical in the denominator with a plus or a minus, we used the conjugate. That was that denominator's twin except with an opposite sign. And look what happened. In the top, well, in the top, we did get a radical. No problem. But you're allowed to have a radical in the top, remember? In the bottom, this trick... Watch what happens. When we do FOIL, we get radical 9. Oh, yeah. and that becomes a perfect square every time. And the minus, along with the plus, would do what? Hasta la vista, baby. Would cancel each other out. OK? And we always ended up with at least a number or not a radical in the denominator and that was the trick the conjugate trick if you would to rationalizing a denominator Three words. Fab, you love. now we can play the same game when we have an I in the denominator we have to play the same game you're not allowed to have a radical in the denominator, and i is the square root of negative 1, so i is a radical. So we use the conjugate. It just happens to be a complex conjugate. We're multiplying by 1, and we're using the conjugate. The conjugate, of course, is the odd couple. It's the twin of the other denominator, only opposite signs. Now watch what happens. The same thing, basically. We distribute in the top, and we do get an I, or a radical, in the top. But we're allowed to have a radical in the top. No OK, that's, that's legal. And in the bottom, the same trick works. In this case, 2 times 2 is a number, not a radical. 2 times negative 3i is minus 6i, but that opposite sign on the other, or the conjugate if you would, what's going to happen here? Just like before, it's going to cancel out. And we'll end up, when we finish this up, be careful here, you get a minus 3i squared, but what is i squared? It's negative 1, the number negative 1. And not minus 9 times minus 1 is plus 9. We get rid of the radical. OK, so this trick will work you are so smart. for complex numbers as well. Does everybody know what time it is? So it's time to go practice it. Give it a go.